All right, stance is important, and stance doesn't change with a shotgun. I just happen to be holding the shotgun instead of the pistol. If I was holding a pistol, I'd be right here. But I'm going to take the stock of the shotgun and pull it right back into that pocket I provided, created when my shoulder is rolled forward. Now the shoulder is wrapped around the stock of the shotgun. I cannot even get the stock to move over. In old school shotgun training, we're blading our body, getting the foot back, and raising this elbow, creating an oblique angle with our body. Well, energy travels the path of least resistance, and it'll travel that angle to the shoulder, and if you ever shot a shotgun in the shoulder, you may not have liked it very much. It's painful. The shoulder, the rotator cuff has a large concentration of nerves that flows over it to operate these intricate hands and fingers, and we don't want to pound that. And it could even go further to the bicep, and whenever it moves at all, it's going to all move to the rear and to the right, which means my muscle moves to the left, and I have to compound that by repairing it, compound the angle. And if I'm a, a professional operator wearing body armor, why on earth would I turn my body armor away from the threat? Doesn't make sense. So we stay squared up. We get the shoulder wrapped around the stock of the shotgun and pulled in tight. I get a cheek weld for my shoot position right here. Cheek weld is important. If I don't get cheek weld, my bead's not sitting properly on the receiver on a bead sight. Or I can't get side alignment with my front and rear sight. So cheek weld is a felt index and it's very important. Now this is my shoot position. I'm not going to search in a shoot position. I can't see where I'm going. My gun's in the way and I can't see the hands of the suspect. So I will lower my muzzle to a low ready position. Now all I have to do now is present from a low ready to a shoot position. But I've got low ready right here, just low enough to see the hands of the suspect and search, see over the top and scan with my chin over the stock of the gun. Now, one thing about long gun shotguns, they get heavy. So if the gun's heavy, getting heavy, and I can't feel like I can't hold it up much longer, my elbows are already down, I can lower my support elbow to my rib cage and now support the weight of the gun with bone structure instead of muscle structure. Okay, so if I'm holding low ready for a long period of time, I might have to lower it to a supported low ready. Now, that takes the sights farther away from my eyes, so it's going to extend my presentation time slightly. But if I, if I can't hold the gun up because it's too heavy, I've got to do something. So this is my low ready position, supported low ready position. One other position we're going to work with a shotgun, just like the pistol and the rifle, is a sewel ready position. Sewel means south in Portuguese. My muzzle is straight down. Straight down between my feet. If I'm going to scan my six, I pull it off my body slightly and keep it straight down between my feet so I don't laser myself or my own feet. So here's my shoot position, low ready position, supported low ready position, and sewel ready positions. Those are the positions we're going to be utilizing with the shotgun.